Hello. All right, so my jaw isn't really broken anymore, and I got my my shit unwired, so I can actually finally talk like a normal human. So, in light of that, I am recording a video. So, what's up, everybody? We are building a generic pickup truck today. I'm not really in the pickup trucks, but we're doing it. So. From based on what I know about Ford F-150s, because I'm a Ford guy, I'm going to say it's partial aluminum, a ladder frame still, corrosion resistant steel, front longitudinal, solid axle coil, and then solid axle leaf. That sounds like it would be kind of good. I I don't know. I'm not a truck guy. And then we're going to have to do, I mean, Ford's doing the V6 EcoBoost shit. So we could do that, but this is a more an American company. I mean, Ford's like the most American car company there is, but, uh... We're doing like the traditional American way. Like if AMC was still a company, this is how they'll do it. We're going with a 90 degree V8, aluminum block, and I'm going to say we're going to go for like a gigantic, like a huge, huge stroke. And it's going to be a push rod and aluminum head. So basically, it's a giant LS. This is like a little bit over a 440. So yeah, maybe this is a Dodge. But I don't know the fuck... Chrysler's doing anymore. Um, Chrysler owns Dodge. Well, Chrysler, I mean, Dodge is like just a, a mark of Chrysler. I, <laughs> they're just doing some weird shit now. I don't even know what's going on. I'm gonna go with cast crank, heavy duty forged. Whoa, wait, does this have better torque? No, it does not. And then we're gonna go with forged or heavy duty cast. Yeah, we're gonna go forged so we get as much torque as we can. We want as much torque as we can. We want, that's why this thing's called the world mover is because we're not going forward we're moving the world back yeah that's what we're doing that's how it works no turbo because that's for communists injection single standard we got like the we got the ls uh looking uh thing and we're gonna go super gas because you know it's american we don't care about gas you get all this shit from cutter anyways or alaska and then high flow freeway I'm going to say straight through and then reverse flow or reverse flow on the first one and then baffle on the second one. We'll up the quality because, you know, you want that rumble. You want, you got your American truck, you want a rumble. Also, 310 horsepower. I have a 7.3. What the fuck is this? Are we trying to get, like, are we trying to get economy out of this? Thing? No, oh, that's way too big. We're we trying to get economy out of this? No, hell no. 20, well, 21% fuel efficiency. That's actually good. That's better than I usually get. Um, what can I do to make this thing way better? Hmm. I'm gonna say I'm gonna lower the cam profile. It's because I want, like, more power down low. But we can also up the compression, like, a fuck ton. So, that's gonna make our, uh, our, what's it called, better. Our fuel efficiency way better. Oh, look at that, 23% fuel efficiency? God damn. I mean, we, we can, we can remedy, we can, I can't talk. We can remedy having good fuel efficiency by just dumping, like actually just throwing barrels of gas into this truck. That I think is what we're going to do. And then we can up the compression even more, yeah? Oh my god, we can. So maybe it cancels out. No, it did not cancel out. And we only got 390. We need, we need way more horsepower. Come on, horsepower. We got to squeeze some horsepower out of this shit. Um, can we rev higher? Oh, we don't need the rev higher. This is a truck. No one want, No one's gonna rev out a truck. Unless it's like a Ford Lightning or a Raptor or something. Or if it's my B2300 because I rev the fuck out of that thing. Manual trucks with four cylinders? Yeah, rev the fuck out of them. It's fun as hell. Especially because I have a hole in my exhaust. It's just dumping right below the cab. And it's fucking hilarious. Anyways, um... Oh, that sounds good enough. Oh, we can make the exhaust a little bit bigger. Maybe you can get better headers. Oh, 398? I want 400. Oh, wait, it's making it worse. Uh, Straight through and straight through? Nah. 
Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Come on. Okay, 420 horsepower. Come on, we gotta do it. No, nope, that makes it worse. Uh. Mm, help. Oh, there's 420 horsepower. The cam profile doesn't ruin me. I messed myself up with my own cam profile. Okay, 435. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yep, that's an engine. Okay, what does it sound like now since we kind of tweaked the exhaust and the cam profile a little bit? Okay, it just sounds like an automation V8. And we're gonna do like a crew cab or an extended cab, whatever this is called. Is this the crew cab? The extended cab is like this kind, yeah? No, this is a normal cab. Okay, whatever. And then we're gonna make it white. Because I only see white and black trucks nowadays. For some reason. And I don't know why these are red. Maybe it wants to be like the red, white, and blue mobile. Which, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, 4th of July is coming out, and I do have a video plan for that. I don't know if it's actually going to exist yet, because my Canadian friends that I want to join the video, they're, you know, time zones, I guess. I don't know. Time zones are always a thing. So, yeah, there's our truck. But it's ugly. Now it's square. Now it looks even more like a... American truck because it's square. We need a longer bed, just the extended bed version. And and the extended cab. Can I extend the cab? No. I can make it a crew cab. This is a crew cab. Okay. Can I have it? That's just weird. I don't like that at all. Okay, this is square enough. It looks strong. It looks like John Cena. If John Cena was a vehicle, I feel like he would be a pickup truck. Anyways, I'm going to design this and I'll be right back. Okay, I gotta test this because I don't know how to fuck to make this truck look good. Um, let's just see this. Jesus! Actually, wait, that kind of works. No, it doesn't. No, it does not. We just turn it on barely. What the hell? All right, so here's the design, and halfway through, I decided, you know what, this is gonna, just gonna be one. Oh my god, I gotta slow down. This is gonna be one of those trucks that are like eighty thousand dollars, 
just because they threw on every random piece of shit they could and like you're paying extra for these plastic mud flaps you got the super king edition whoa what do you get the super king edition and i just noticed something i forgot where the fuck did they go <laughs> who took who took my uh somebody stole my side steps that's that's rude who stole my side steps where'd they go when did they go i don't even know anyways so in this edition of the truck you have every random piece of shit you don't need like uh you got the bigger engine which i mean i understand that part and then, but you got like towing mirrors you don't have a tow hook you got these random ass plastic like looking ass mud shield guard flap things you got the running boards you got a sunroof and a luggage carrier you got these like tow truck looking ass lights you got these wide load looking lights you got your fog lights and uh, of course you probably got like 20 inch wheels too anyways it's gonna be four by four you paid for that as well it's gonna be an advanced automatic an eight nine speed because i guess we're just going crazy with like the speeds now i'm gonna say it's i'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's like top out at um, top speed is 150 and, but it's gonna top out like 140 the uh, limited the 140 I'm gonna go with an electric LSD, yeah. And then radial medium compound. They're about the right size, but we also have to do this. Like 35 inch wheels, tires. 35 inch tires. And like 21 inch rims. 22 inch rims. Yeah, 22 inch rims. And they're alloys. Yeah. And we gotta, we gotta poke them out a little bit. Just a little bit make it look a little bit better yeah there we go that's a truck that's a truck someone's gonna spend eighty thousand dollars for vented disc two piston in the front large and a solid disc free piston in the back actually we don't need that many pistons in the back do we because you know less weight in the back um, let's do an off-road under tray. None of that. We'll do seats in the back. Yes, premium, premium. Yeah, and then we're gonna do all this. Not launch control. We don't need that. And advanced tens. And then we're gonna go. Which was the best one for off-road? Active comfort. I guess we'll do twin two for the dampers though. Utility premium, yeah, that's about right. Low sportiness, yeah, we got no sportiness. Oh, the rear brake force, I guess we didn't need rear brakes. Boom. Issues with wheel spin. Well, stop spinning your wheels. I, I put it the wrong way. Wrong way? I put it the wrong way. There we go. And then we can do over here off road. That's probably way too high and it looks weird. Yep. There we go. Now it looks normal. Actually, it doesn't look too bad anymore. In the beginning, it looked absolutely horrible. But now it doesn't look too bad. And here we go. Yeah. Woo. Here's my truck. I'll see you guys over in BMG. All right. So here we are in BMG. Before we drive our truck, which actually looks very good. I don't see any holes in the side of it yet. Because every time I look, there's going to be a hole in it. And it looks like we check out this time. And good job, Automation Exporter. But we <laughs> Beam and G updated and we got this little thing. Which uh, I'll probably do in a whole different video. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do something with this little thing. This is so cool. This is like a cyberpunk car. That's sick. Anyways, here's our truck. Let's start them up. Actually, it's already started. Just really quiet. For some reason, all my cars are really quiet recently. It's just the opposite of what I usually do. Also, let's check the lights. Oh, they're not they're not blinding anymore that's nice um we're in drive we are driving and we don't really have as much torque down low as i wanted also we are heating so fast you see that oh we're gonna overheat we don't we're not even turboed or anything also the brakes don't exist and our suspension is kind of kind of soft but that's normal for whatever I do 
Yeah, this is, this is this truck seems like it's just kind of shit. I mean, that kind of that's kind of like it's, it's like what I was going for then. Overpriced and shit. Like, look at this. Well, at least it's probably comfortable. I didn't build the interior, but like a eighty like five thousand dollar truck <laughs> should be comfortable and at least haul something. But I, I didn't put a fucking tow hitch on it. So who knows? Okay, I'm done driving around like that. We're taking it to the track. It's gonna bring it down the drag strip. Boop. All right. Let's neutral drop it. Let's also turn off all that. Also, we need to be straight. We need to be straight. Okay, here we go. Okay, still not going 60. There we go, we're 60 now. It's not slow. I mean, we're going 100 across the line, so that's not too bad for a truck, actually. That's actually very good for a truck. Unless it's like an actual sports truck, but this is more of like a, hey, I'm a, I own a construction company <laughs> kind of truck. It's not, a, not like he's actually doing anything, he just owns it. But, you know, you gotta fit it in with your workers, you know, just gotta own a truck, I guess. Or you're like a rich farmer that just doesn't do anything anymore. Anyways, let's go around the track, let's see how it drives. Actually, wait, let's do that again, let's do it again. We can unlock the front drive shaft. So, now, we can do a thing. Let's do it. It did hold on. I, I want to do this burnout so bad. Oh, it doesn't in reverse. Okay. Damn it. Come on. There you go. Ah, it takes me back to the time when I was driving a Silverado Z71. It was like a 2006 Silverado Z71. And I wasn't expecting it to be, like, powerful at all. And I floored it. And I just did, like, a fat, like... One one tire fire, bro. Oh, the understeer. Come on, kick down. There we go. Come on, can we get some oversteer? Nice uh, drift truck. Hey! Oh no 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 no! At least we got an angle. I don't know what's going on. With, like the crazy angle on this thing like look I break way too early drift it dude this is a drift truck yeah but then it angles too much and it just kind of slows itself down because the wheels are almost completely sideways come on the angle just saved me there okay back straight floor it So we're, almost, we're gonna overheat here. Actually, no, it's staying at a good temperature now. Look at it kind of like... This is like a Cadillac, man. <laughs> Look at the suspension. <laughs> it's bottomed out. Bottom out, the bottom of a hill. Very Cadillac-like. Keep going. Oh, I kind of failed that one. Uh, oof. That's completely fine. Built Harrison tough, right? Not even a scratch on it. Let's see how tough this actually is. Uh, this is a good way to end the video. We're just gonna yeet it into a tire wall. We went through the tire wall and it ripped off both the front wheels. 
Nice. Nice. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go drive this thing around. Until next time, this has been Uncle Vince. I'll see you guys later. Love you all. Mwah. That's how you do it. <laughs>